Today, today I'm going to show you how I flash ancient OS on my Poco M3. Here is the orange fox uh, splash screen. So um, I don't want you to follow my guide fully, but this is how I flash. First, decrypt the uh, the storage. So let us wait for a, a small time. Yeah, press on, press on the delete icon and perform the uh, four or five wipes, including the internal storage. I'm actually formatting the internal storage as of now. Then next I'm going to do is format the data partition. So uh, this is not required always. I'm just doing it because I want to have a fresh installation from my previous ROM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, type in S for the formatted data partition. So once the data has been formatted, um, you need to reboot that recovery. I'm repeating again, this is how I flash I, and it is not necessary for you to follow my guide. So yeah, rebooting the recovery. So here the orange splash, I mean orange fox splash logo again. So we have rebooted to the recovery and it takes some time to you know activate the touch display uh, when using any recoveries. Um, so let us wait for some time. Yeah, select the uh, external storage, then uh, scroll up and find the ancient OS zip. Yeah, here we are. So uh, swipe it and uh, start the flashing thing. So here we have started the flashing thing. So let us wait till the flashing uh, procedures are over. It takes some time so just be patient I'm repeating again this is my guide or this is the way I flash uh, well I don't have any much data on my device that is the reason why I'm just formatting the internal and uh, formatting the data too uh, you don't need to do all these unless and until the ROM requires you to do so what we are going to do is we, we have finished the flashing ROM then wipe caches and reboot to system soon you will see the POCO logo then after after that you can see the boot animation also yeah uh, ancient uh, boot animation is really good i really like their uh, boot animation so let us wait for some time since uh, it may take some time so let us wait until it is over yeah so we are nearing to the finish right yeah craft with love and here we have the welcome screen we have booted up the ancient OS and uh, let's try to see what all things ancient OS is offering so first of all you can see that the launcher that's me offered here is quick step or launcher 3 or something like that it entails many customization and to be honest with you guys you can have many many customization and uh, these customization options are something similar to what you get in CR droid or rice droid so you can have the app drawer thing uh, reasons you can have many sort of things even in reasons it looks really fantastic so um, right now we have the gapps version of the ROM and uh, to be honest with you the gapps version is not actually bloated with quite a lot of uh, gapps so let us go to the play store and try to see if the build is being certified you can also see that the play product certification that device is certified uh, it's a certified build so let us go to the settings page as of now um, see uh, to be honest with you guys if you have used ancient i have started to use ancient os from android 10 and to be honest with you this is one of the custom roms where we have 1 million customization and when i talk about 1 million customization even myself i don't understand what all customizations are i mean uh, yeah what all kinds of customization are in in this particular room so craft with heart is something you can find is where you can find the customizations you can even change the ancient futures page into different uh, setup so first you have the themes you can select a custom home page theme and these all are the uh, options available and i have selected the vlm one ui theme then view pager animation i'm not sure what that is then settings switch style you can change the settings um, switch st styles into different sort of thing these all are the things that are available for you then dashboard shape custom i do not know what that is yeah, to be honest with you there are quite a lot of customization in the themes segment and uh, i would suggest you to use the rom and find out it by yourself because if i'm trying to take you through each and every customization it will take quite uh, it will take a lot of time you will have uh, quite a lot of uh, font styles available here 
and you can select a custom uh, signal icon style wi-fi icon style and icon shapes you can choose custom icon shapes and monet engine you can choose custom colors from the monet engine then add on you can have the ancient ui switch style you if you prefer to have a different kind of clock setup definitely you can do that for the um, quick settings you can select uh, um, custom clocks like yapon or something like that and it is going to look like this and if you want to display it in uh, different sites definitely you can arrange it by uh, arrange it in your own convenience you have many customization options available in the add-on you can even adjust the status bar padding too so these all are the customization options that are available with the add-on thing then next you will have the status bar you can customize the status bar items by enabling or disabling different icons uh, clock and date settings if you want to have the transparent kind of clock that is over here 4 is to 24 you can see uh, a kind of background if you want to enable that definitely you can enable that and even you can adjust the paddings and stuff like that for the status bar clock to be honest with you it, it is quite a lot of options that you are having over here then battery settings you can choose custom battery styles and you can also adjust the battery uh, ba custom battery dimensions also then you can have the uh, battery percentage and you can adjust the uh, adjust where you want uh, your battery percentage to be displayed and there are quite a lot of options are available here too then carrier label the network traffic indicator you can adjust the network traffic indicator unit size and all if you want to enable or disable the ancient logo there is a toggle button for here uh, over here wall light icon you will have 24 kind of wall light icons available with the rom i don't, I don't like to uh, have wall light icon so i keep it uh, disabled there are a lot of uh, things available here so if you have want to have different uh, status bar layout style you can have like ios one where you will have the um the 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 network icons and stuff like that being displayed on the left hand si right hand side and stuff like that so if you want to have the dual bar definitely you can have that and it is going to look like this so uh, to be honest with you you will have uh, quite a lot of customization options over here and even you can adjust the custom dimensions for the signal wi-fi accounts and stuff like that then quick settings you can have uh, quick uh, you can adjust the quick settings uh, background opacity uh, i mean background thing uh, then you if you want to enable custom background for the quick settings definitely you can do that if you wish to choose the disco one it is going to show you something like this yeah which looks really great so if you want to have the uh, blur behind the quick settings and it is going to look something like this if you disable it you can see that it goes back to the normal one and there are many customization options over here which you can choose uh, according to you and brightness slider customization is here um, brightness percentage if you wish to have a brightness percentage definitely you can see that there is a uh, round thing over here and the brightness uh, percentage is being displayed over there then lock screen you can choose custom lock screen styles font also you can choose custom lock screen uh, font style and uh, style 3 background so if you i'm not sure what that is okay uh, trans clock custom background bg if you choose that you can definitely use uh, custom background styles for that thing so you'll have some standard features like lock screen charger information always on icon or uh, aod icons on lock screen ripple effect and stuff like that then notification you will have the killer up button force expanded notification colored icons if you want to have the colored icons on the status bar definitely you can enable that and the material dismiss icon if you prefer to have the dismiss icon for the uh, for the notifications definitely you can have that and there is also an option for the reticker then battery smart pixels animations power menu these all are standard options that are available to you uh, buttons i'm not sure what that is uh, gestures if you prefer to customize the aosp gestures you can choose from here and the navigation bar then finally the miscellaneous 
one like unlock higher fps in game tossed up icons and stuff like that so these all are the customization options that are available with the ancient os rom and to be honest with you this is a rom where you will have 1 million customization and if you choose to have a rom with a lot of customization definitely you can actually choose ancient os finally uh, this is my review about the ancient os there are many features which i have not explored yet and uh, if you prefer to explore it i would suggest you to flash the rom and enjoy the customization options that are available with the rom many thanks to the developers of the rom and many thanks to our friend uh, indra for uh, uh, compiling the rom for our beloved juice or kaim devices he did an amazing job uh, you know by compiling the rom for us it's a very good rom it's a super smooth rom if you prefer to use it uh, as your daily driver definitely you can use that too so once you go to the security you can see that face and fingerprint unlock is available and you can also see that the rom is encrypted so be careful with that and if you want to flash some kind of thing to decrypt i mean uh, to disable the encryption you can do that and please make sure to check the uh, telegram group for our juice or kaim devices to get the um, files so once again i would like to thank you for watching my rom review and please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss future updates thank you